Now, the violence comes on the heels of Ukraine's presidential election. By now, you probably know billionaire Petro Poroshenko has already promised to negotiate an end to separatist conflict. But amid ongoing clashes in the east, especially in the Donbass region, the big question, can Poroshenko help heal the country's wounds? CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg is live in Kiev with more on that. Hi, Roy. Indeed, uh, Poroshenko's victory comes at a critical time for Ukraine. The country is facing a constitutional crisis, a crumbling economy, and as we know, a growing insurgency in the East. So the question is, does Poroshenko have the skills to respond? Well, here in Kiev, there was among the highest voter turnout on Sunday, and people in the capital seem to think so. <laughs> Petro Poroshenko isn't officially Ukraine's next president, but he's already started acting like it. At a press conference on Monday, the billionaire-turned-politician promised to sell his businesses, keep the current prime minister in place, and continue a military crackdown on separatists in the East. We will uh, defend and clean and bring the peace on the Donbass, including the fighting against terror. This is the one of the main functions of the state, to defend the people. That's the case. Poroshenko ran as an independent candidate. But observers say to do all he wants, he'll need some help. I believe uh, he should uh, uh, consolidate uh, uh, all people who support him and uh, to create new political party for a uh, next uh, parliament election. On the streets of Kiev on Monday, most were hopeful about the future and about Poroshenko's abilities. I believe he's a clever and smart person. He has exact plans. He has probably already made decisions about how to act in the future. It was a sentiment echoed in the capital's main square, the Maidan. Here, just months ago, deadly clashes with police paved the way for the ousting of the man Poroshenko is now set to replace. I believe he's an educated and active person, and I believe that everything depends on his future team. If he can gather together good people, he'll be able to fulfill these tasks. Now, Poroshenko has already indicated that his first trip as president would be to the east, to the Donbass region. He says he wants to speak to the people there, but he qualified his comments, noting that he will not speak, quote, with terrorists. Well, that, of course, leaves some uncertainty over how Ukraine's future leader will resolve Ukraine's present crisis. I think it's a question a lot of people are asking. Thank you so much, Roy Ruttenberg.